All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So if you're like me, you like to wear your phones uncovered. But when I do cover up, I cover up with a rinky. So with that being said, when I'm not covering up around the house, I go to Sophie Guards. Now, if you have a black um, OnePlus 8, I suggest you go ahead and get this forged carbon. And if you're like me, you have this colorful version right here. I suggest you go with the clear skin. And shout out to Sophie Guard for sponsoring this video. As you can see here, they sent over two versions. Looks like this is a matte clear, which is exactly what I would do uh, if I were you. I would put on a matte version uh, or just a clear version, period, so you can protect your phone from scratches and little nicks uh, and still have some protection. This is so thin. Wow, that's beautiful. That's how I All right, guys, so this is what your phone should look like. Now, originally, the other day, um, you just have to let this cure. Uh, you have to let it sit, pretty much. And uh, ironically enough, I didn't even use a blow dryer yet. Uh, I actually just sat the phone down, and all those bubbles that you saw originally, they're pretty much gone. I just let the phone sit. Now I'm going to heat it up around the camera just a little bit because there's one, two bubbles there, and there's one on the corner. Other than that, all those bubbles just faded away on their own. Uh, because when you use the phone, it gets a little warm and it fixed itself. So if you're going to do a clear skin, I highly recommend that you put it on, make sure it's lined up right, and then put it, let it sit on the phone and then give it a day at least because all of this, all those bubbles went away on their own and I just let the phone sit. I mean, I turned it on uh, and did some things like phone calls, texts and stuff like that, but overall... Uh, it'll and, and after I heat this up, it'll definitely clear all the way out. Uh, but you definitely want to let that. Now that's what all skins, but with this clear skin, since it shows the device, you know a, a lot. You know it's gonna it's clear, so it's gonna show all the bubbles. You definitely want to make sure that you let this sit. And I think this phone is legit now with the matte back, and it's still clear. So if you have uh, any phone, you can do a clear matte skin. Uh, but if you have a black phone, I suggest you to go ahead and do a black skin. But here it is, man, sponsored by uh, Sophie Guard, meaning they sent this over to me, and I applied it uh, on their behalf to show you what it would look like for you for the clear matte skin. I'm going to tell you, though, once again, this is the skin that I recommend if you have the Interstellar Glow. You don't have to do that, but I think this is the way to go. So it's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. This was a very difficult one to put on, folks, but I got it done, and I'm patient. And, and it's now the second day. And this is what it looks like. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.